make sure you like share and subscribe beautiful viewer thank you for taking the time out to click on kiara's love tarot and hear what it is that i have to say i truly appreciate you guys hit that like button for me if you have not liked my video already and if you're not a part of the kiara love tarot family go ahead and subscribe and make yourself a family member everybody is welcomed okay only positive energies only though <laughs> also please keep in mind my readings are general so only take what resonates with you okay something that you know you've been through or something that you see playing out do not try to make this whole video apply to your life if you know damn well some of the things in here that i'm saying is not for you okay do not stress yourself out trying to apply something okay also guys if this video does resonate please be sure to comment and let me know before we get deep into the reading let's go ahead and pull some messages that the spirit guides may have for you guys all right archangel michael and archangel gabriel please put the light around me and my collective um the viewer watching this video protect us from anything negative and um only in, allow positive energies around us okay Let's see what messages do we got, spirit guys. What y'all got? We got a newborn in August. Okay, so somebody watching this video could have a baby that they just had in August. Okay, what other messages do you got, spirit? Give me more messages. We got hustle hard all the time. So I could be um, talking to somebody who's a natural born hustler. Okay, whether you got a job or not, you're going to figure out how to make ends meet or you just know how to make shit happen. You know how to pull shit out the sky. Um, so, yeah, somebody's in a hustle hard energy or somebody's been hustling really hard, just pulling doubles, pulling extra shifts, working multiple jobs or just maintaining multiple incomes, multiple um, sources of yeah income. You, got, you guys are making it happen. OK, you guys got a dream or you guys are ambitious about something and you want to make that shit play out. So you are definitely in a hustle hard energy. A lot of you guys got out your feelings and you got in your bag. Okay, so that's good. What other messages, Spirit, do you have? We got stop playing with my emotions. Yeah, you guys um, got out your emotions. Like I just said, you got tired of letting somebody play with your emotions or you're just out of this energy where you're done telling people to quit playing with your emotions or you just ain't thinking about relationships at the current moment. Okay, somebody watching this video really ain't in an emotional um, state as far as dating wise or you just really ain't thinking about the past you thinking about getting to the bag we got February so somebody could be saving up to make a big move in February or somebody could just um, have a goal that they want to have uh, completed by February and you are getting to it by any means necessary okay so somebody is a Pisces a Pisces um a February Pisces, also somebody um, had a separation last February, so the year anniversary to you being single is coming up, and it's just amazing for you that you are no longer in that place you were. Somebody could be moving to Atlanta in February, or somebody um, lives in Atlanta watching this video, okay, or somebody is hustling hard in Atlanta at the current moment, so somebody could be some type of entrepreneur or a promoter or entertainer or model of some sort coming out of Atlanta or somebody trying to come up in Atlanta okay what other messages do you got spirit what other messages we got drink wine so I'm talking to a wine drinker or I'm talking to somebody who has let go of hard liquor and you only drink wine we got I hope we can stay friends so yeah somebody could have fell out with a friend that lives in Atlanta or somebody just fell out with a friend or somebody was dealing with somebody um Somebody has a friend that they fell in love with. So this could be two of the opposite sex. They were just real cool friends. And you guys kind of crossed the line in your relationship. And, um, you know, you guys were the perfect, you guys had the perfect bond as friends. But once sex was involved, somebody began to play with somebody's emotions. Somebody wasn't quite sure about um, taking this connection to another level. This caused somebody to have to move away or this could be why somebody's moving away. So somebody, you know, 
you know how you got a real good male friend or a real good female friend and then as soon as y'all decide to cross, cross that line things get awkward so something could be awkward for somebody right now we got call me to talk about it yeah um somebody didn't doesn't want to lose a friendship with somebody because they decided to you know try to see how things could be on a relationship tip or because somebody des decided to add sex in the equation we got expose how you really feel yeah this kind of sounds like um somebody is dealing with a friends with benefits type of situation they got a little too serious or somebody got too deeply involved into something that originally wasn't supposed to be what it is now and now somebody's wanting somebody to call them and talk about it to expose how they really feel also um somebody could be mexican and black that i'm talking to or has mexican and black um relatives or you could be a mexican person dating a black person uh flip it how it resonates but somebody also wants to call you viewer to talk about it with you um they want to i feel like you may have told this person how you felt in the past about them you could have even just been repeat repeating yourself over and over that's why we have the stop playing with my emotions card because you were ready for something that somebody wasn't ready for at the time and it literally passed them by and they're realizing that they don't want this to pass them by so now they want you to call them to talk about it or you could just have this urge to call somebody that you care about and talk about something with them we got um all i ever asked was you to pick up the phone when you alone yeah somebody had a private secretive relationship that they couldn't quite talk about i'm also picking up like somebody dating like a rapper or somebody that's trying to come up in the industry or come up in the rap world and maybe this rapper has gotten um involved with a manager or somebody that helps um advertise them okay and i feel like this is somebody who was secretly dating somebody that is in the public eye and whoever is the person that's not in the public eye wanted more recognition than they were getting okay somebody wants to keep a rec a relationship private though um it don't have to be that scenario with the rapper but i definitely picked that up we got fall so we're definitely going into the fall energy this is how somebody's feeling about somebody this far okay somebody's feeling like they are wanting to rehash a past relationship that could have possibly been more or if somebody would have expressed how they really felt it would have been more than what it is now um yeah somebody don't want to let something in okay we got your new man is hot so some of you guys could be dating someone new. This is another energy, okay? Somebody's in love or somebody's really in lust with someone new, okay? Somebody's um, very sexually attractive to, attracted to a new energy that has came into their life. This energy could be Mexican and Black. Somebody could be attracted to a Mexican and Black um, man with a nice body, packs okay or this could be a woman if you're a man watching this um you could be attracted to a mexican and black woman or somebody who could appear to look mexican and black but either way somebody's dating somebody new that's making them have the super hot so we got brush your teeth okay so somebody ain't brushing their teeth or somebody could have been dating somebody new that was hot sexy and attractive you could have finally decided to start going out to date somebody and then you go on this date with this attractive person and you smell their breath and it's like okay it's a no for you because you're easily turned off and you some of you guys really don't want to move on from whoever this person is that's like in this energy the past whoever the past person is you're already trying to get over them okay you've overcome getting out of the mindset of not dating out or not getting out or not giving other people a chance but it's like the first time somebody do something to turn you off it's a no call back it's a block okay so somebody could just have got turned off by the way somebody's breath smelled okay we got a movie date yeah so this could have been a movie date with somebody dating somebody new and this person could be like wondering why you ghosted them or you could have ghosted them and um it's just because somebody's personal hygiene is not what's up okay somebody's personal hygiene is out of order or 
it just might you might have just caught them on a bad day okay y'all can't just be not talking to people for little petty reasons but that just shows that you guys still got some healing to do because you're easily um turned off or you're easily pushed back into that mode of okay i'm not dating nobody is my ex okay we gotta get the house get the get out the house girl so yeah there's somebody that's spending way too much time at home okay but honestly right now the safest place with all this going on in the world is home right now okay so i don't blame anybody that's spending time at home but at the same time at least go outside and get some air you don't have to be in the nearest club the nearest bar at your friend's house or on you know kicking it but at least get out and get some sun okay the sun has all the minerals and things that you need um, to heal emotionally, mentally, physically, okay? The sun is medicine, so get outside and get you some, okay? The sun got what, um, you know, a lot of vitamins and shit we take don't have, or they got, the sun has a lot more vitamins, I rep is what I meant to say. The sun has a lot more vitamins than we have access to, okay? We got to change your locks. So somebody's needing to change their locks. An old uh, boyfriend, could have access to your home and you just don't want anybody being able to just walk into your house so somebody's really needing to change their locks also there could be somebody that know they need to change their locks um but they're not because you kind of want your person to just you're hoping your person to, has a change of mind and just pops up and just wakes you up to roses and flowers okay so some of you guys is like then broke it off with somebody, could have possibly been sharing an apartment with this person. You asked for your keys back. They might have not given them to you, but telling you at the same time they don't, they threw them away or they just ain't going to come to your house and you left it alone. But really, just change. If you're really done with this person, change your locks, okay? I'm not getting like nobody ain't safe, but you just don't want people having access to your space whenever they feel like it. If y'all done, y'all done, and you need to change the locks, okay? We got delusional about things. Yeah, somebody's still delusional about a breakup. Like I said, this could be your energy viewer for some of you guys or somebody watching. You could still be a little delusional about the fact that, um, you know, it's really over in this situation. Not saying you are bit, are pushing up on somebody, but you just don't want to face that. Wow, I have to move forward. I got to start living life without this person also your person could still be a little delusional about things to the point where they feel they could just pop up at your house and just let themselves in okay so y'all just want to make sure y'all change y'all locks so that you know nobody has access to y'all space we got con artist liar scammer scammer disloyal so yeah this could be somebody somebody that could be have showed you con artist traits liar traits scamming traits disloyal traits um, this is somebody having access to you, okay? Um, get this person out of your energy because their time in your life has exceeded, I'm hearing. Okay. We got, I wasn't in love. So somebody wants to call you and talk about the fact that they wasn't in love with somebody they either left you for or they're in a relationship with now. It, it, yeah, they're in a relationship with this person now and it could be due to them leaving you for this person or just you choosing not to want them. And this could be somebody who just don't like being alone. So they had to go find somebody to um, basically fill the void you left when you walked away from the relationship. Um, take it how it resonates, but somebody wants to tell you that they're not in love in a situation that they're in or at the time they weren't in love with you, but they realize now that they are. Okay, it takes sometimes absence and space for a person to realize what people mean to them. We got to take that baby out of pull up. So there's still somebody who has a child that's needing to um, get potty trained. And Spirit is letting me know to let somebody watching this video know that you need to step your game up a little bit and, um, you know, get the baby out of pull-ups. That's for a child that's way overdue, like closer to the age of four or something or three. Um, but everybody is potty trained when they're that when it's time for them to be potty trained. So um, I'm not judging anybody whose children is having a a hard time being potty trained but that's a message for somebody take it how it resonates if you know you've exceeded the limit on that then you know okay just do better 
All right, so we got pink. So somebody's favorite color is pink or somebody's nickname could be pink. Um, somebody plans to get married in a pink wedding dress or wants a pink wedding dress. We got, I wasn't in love with none of them any, um, anyway. Okay, so this is twice that somebody is letting it be known. Somebody's energy coming through the reading twice, wanting to really justify and clarify that they weren't in a love um, situation or, or it wasn't love for them in the situation. We got to do what's best for you. So, yeah, somebody telling you, like, I wasn't in love with them. I wasn't really doing this with them or it wasn't really that it was all for the show or however whatever excuses that they got they trying to get they point that they don't love a person across to you but they also throwing that do what's best for you though if you want to be done then you could be done i'm not gonna beg you to stay type shit okay so somebody's kind of trying to play reverse psychology with you okay somebody's trying to um flip the script you know make you feel like well i mean if you want to be done with me because i showed somebody that i'm i was acting like i was in love this is how they presenting it and go ahead and do what's best for you so somebody still just can't let go of their ego okay so spirit give me cards for what's going on in this reading today okay with the viewer and their person we got let it be so I'm going to clarify every card that comes out give me another one there's no trust in this situation Try not to let it fall. New pregnancy. <laughs> I'm already seeing what this is. Babies have been heavy. Fuck you. All shapes and sizes. F we got to fuck you. We got family support. Okay, so I'm just gonna take those for the moment. Okay. So spirit, clarify this let it be car why is this let it be car here give me um cards for why this let it be car is here spirit why is this let it be car here we got seduction so somebody's needing to let it be because they dealing with somebody that's really seductive and they're gonna be seductive regardless clearly um they're not gonna stop the way they live in or stop the way they do things or the way they feel comfortable doing things when it comes down to being a free spirit. Somebody doesn't believe in committing in one situation or committing to one person or they don't believe in just investing all their eggs in one basket. They always, they the way they feel secure is knowing that they have another place to run to or another situation to run to. Okay, so obviously this reading is basically, uh, I'm not going to say it's a third party, but this whoever's energy this is, they are free-spirited when it comes down to dating. Okay, they will date um, all shapes and sizes. We got the all shapes and sizes cards out, so they don't have a type. They don't discriminate. Okay, for them, pussy don't have a face, or if this is a woman you're watching this video about, dick don't have a face. Um also, I'm hearing out for opportunity. So this is somebody that's just looking to get noticed or looking to get saved, looking to get married, cuffed up, or just luck up and run into somebody that uh, will secure them for the rest of their life or just have them feeling secure. But even then, still, they still not going to just put their eggs in one basket, okay? So somebody's let needing to let it be. Somebody watching this video, you need to let things be or you could be this person that's seductive, okay? It don't matter. Take how it resonate. Um, at the bottom of the seduction card, we got attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. So yeah, somebody's needing to let a situation be because you're trying to force somebody. You're stressing yourself the hell out, trying to get somebody, trying to tame this naturally seductive person okay somebody's in love with somebody who has an energy attached to them that no matter how they how hard they try 
they just are not satisfied in one setting. They could also be this way with their living, with their cars they drive, with jobs, okay? This ain't just women or men. This is just in a life period. One job is not enough or they just, if they work a job, it's for two to three months, okay? It's not something that's going to be long term. They really probably never ever had a long term relationship. You could be one of the first long term relationships they've ever really had or the one of the longest situationships they've ever had if this has drug and on longer than supposed to. Okay, so yeah, somebody's needing to let it be because also with this, there's no trust card in here. It's letting me know this is somebody you're consistently looking over your shoulder with. Okay, we got the snake contemplation, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder. I just said that, okay, the other woman. So clarifying that uh, there's no trust. You don't trust this person. You think they're a snake or they could think you a snake or they could think all women are snakes or they could think all men are snakes. So they're out for themselves. They out to make sure they don't get hurt in a situation. They always want their options open in case somebody tries to embarrass them. Okay. Also, somebody's needing to let something be because you could be the other woman or the other man in a situation and you need to just stop trying to um, make somebody either leave somebody or make somebody notice you and pick you okay because what I'm hearing is even if this person walked away from this connection that somebody's won't this may not this part may not resonate with everybody but somebody watching it will resonate with okay you may feel like um this person cares for you or it'll be different with you because you're just different. But truth be told, if they'll do it to her, they'll do it to you, okay? Or if they'll do it to him, they'll do it to you. It don't matter how it is, resonates, whatever, flip it. But if this person is naturally disloyal, then this ain't somebody that's going to be loyal to you no matter how pretty your hair is, how pretty your face, how soft your skin, how good your cootie is, how good of a mind you have, the how good your credit is, credit score. Um, when you are with someone that's loyal, no matter how good you are, that really does not matter, okay? So somebody, that was a message for somebody. But yeah, so clarify this new pregnancy card, Spirit. What's going on with this new pregnancy card? What's going on with this new pregnancy card, Spirit? Why is this here? It seems to me that somebody, you know, needs to let go of somebody that could have, you know, brought a child in this world. Or look, we got the chaser and we got heartbroken. Um, so somebody's heartbroken over a new pregnancy. We got deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So either somebody, there's a couple different scenarios that I'm picking up with this card, okay? There could be somebody, there could be an energy that's deeply hurt because, um, they really want a baby with somebody or they feel a baby will bring them closer to somebody or they feel that they just want to be locked in in this particular person's life and they feel like this is the key to being locked in not realizing or not able to see at the moment they will see later down the line but at the moment they can't see how toxic of a person they're trying to secure in their life this could be you this could be another person also there's an energy that i'm picking up on that somebody's deeply heartbroken and deeply feeling lost they don't know where to go whether they should break up with somebody or or just stick it out over a new pregnancy that they you know somebody they've been in a relationship with that they knew was seductive that they knew they couldn't trust has could have potentially you know informed this person or you or however it resonates that somebody is having a baby and this is devastating to somebody. Um, this is causing somebody to go into the chaser energy or somebody's very, um, somebody's chasing somebody even harder than they was now because there could be a new pregnancy that recently came on the scene. Um, you could be pregnant or this person could be pregnant or this seductive person. Now, remember, let's take it back to this card. This is an energy and y'all saw the cards fly out, okay? This is an energy that somebody already knows is a seductive person and for some of you guys you may not even know that this person is seductive like this you this is new to you now because all this shit is coming out this could be why somebody's heartbroken and deeply hurt, deeply hurt okay when somebody finds out news like that's not easy hearing that somebody you are in love with or somebody you 
are intimate with or building with is having some a baby on you that's not something you get over with over within months or years or days okay this is devastating to somebody and they just don't know what to do but at the same time they can't be mad at nobody but they self because god gave red flags whether you knew for sure or not that your person was seductive or they were doing a lot of hooking up they have a lot of people attracted to them somebody knew what it was with a person from the get-go or they just chose not to see this or you ignored certain things you shouldn't ignore okay Either way it goes, somebody's devastated about a new pregnancy that's come out and somebody's in a relationship, okay? Also, somebody could just be hurt because somebody doesn't want a baby with them or they don't want a pregnancy. Somebody got a reaction out of telling somebody they were pregnant that they didn't expect from somebody and it has them heartbroken. Somebody is devastated that a person that they thought they could trust or that they, you know, slept with unprotected now you're pregnant and this person is acting as if they don't understand how you're pregnant uh duh raw sex okay or even if there's condom sex and the condom breaks if a guy wants a baby that baby's coming but somebody's just down in the dumps over somebody's feeling guilty and you should not be feeling like this okay because you didn't do this by yourself this person helped you impregnate yourself, okay? So whoever that energy is for, do not beat yourself up about feeling pregnant or questioning yourself. You knew exactly what you were doing and they knew exactly what they were doing and this is y'all situation equally, okay? This is not something that you need to beat yourself up about. Pregnancy is a blessing, okay? So clarify this all shapes and sizes. We got girl with a snake. Empath, narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used or enabled, okay? So there could be somebody trying to take advantage of, just taking advantage of women that they see um, are insecure about themselves or somebody that's heavier set could be dealing with a person that's seeing that, okay, you may, you may, I'm not saying this is what you think of yourself, but you may, uh, you may be, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even know that y'all couldn't see the cards, okay, but you may be, um, giving off this energy to whoever you're dating, if you're heavy set that you're insecure about yourself, or if people always assume that women are, that are big are, insecure or they think they can't have nobody you'd be surprised there are a lot of confident bigger women who look at themselves with high looks okay they don't look down on themselves at all but this person could think uh that they, or they could pinpoint bigger women or smaller women just women that you know don't really feel like they have a shape or just feel attractive um, and they usually are probably uh, empaths and these narcissists are charming these type of women due to their self-esteem. So there's somebody preying on uh, women of all shapes and sizes due to their frames or just the energy that they're giving off. Some some people got y'all mistaken as fuck thinking y'all insecure or y'all ever needed a person to make y'all happy, okay? Somebody thinks they can enable you for certain things due to a size, okay? So give me clarify this fuck you card clarify this fuck you card what's going on with this why is this here spirit why is this fuck you card here we got the phoenix a new phase rekindle new, renew transformation growth and change the mind okay so somebody is saying f a situation because they own to something new something better something that they don't have to second guess or something that doesn't keep them up at night heartbroken okay some for somebody a pregnancy was enough for them okay somebody walked away from a relationship very deeply hurt that they had to break up with the one they love because somebody was being seductive or decided to you know have unprotected uh link ups with people and now a baby is resulting in this situation for somebody okay this may not resonate with everybody but for somebody um this is the situation and you just couldn't you tried and tried and tried to forget it but you was just much too full of resentment when it came to this situation 
and you just knew that it was best for you to go your separate way because that's not something you could just fake and smile and grinch your teeth and act like you okay with. You you know, for somebody, somebody knows what comes with um, accepting a situation like that. It comes a lot of uncomfortable situations like having to, you know, allow the person you're with to be around this person and their child. You having to, you know, this child at this point comes before you in a relationship if you know this child has a doctor appointment birthday parties you know you this person and, and this woman or this man who what, however the situation is resonating they're going to be a part of your life and that's just something you didn't want to deal with okay so somebody chose to be the uh runner in a situation but also for somebody even though you should be saying fuck a person and go into a new phase somebody's choosing to chase down somebody they in a codependent relationship with uh from the fear of being abandoned okay somebody could have abandonment issues and like i said somebody might be um having low self-esteem so they feel like yeah you having a baby on me but i'm gonna stick beside you because this is as good as it's getting for me or i just don't feel like starting over somebody don't feel like starting over so they're choosing to chase somebody down that then created a child on them and that's just one of the wrongest things you could do also somebody that's hurting over this new pregnancy could be seeking family support or there could be somebody that's seeking family support that just found out they're pregnant and your partner um decided to run the other direction on you and leave you hanging with this pregnancy um and you feel like you don't have anybody or your family could just know your situation and they're being very helpful for you at this moment okay clarify this family support card we got two cards so we got wedding union married soul connection eternal love everlasting promise and we got cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting okay so somebody's family member could be telling them to have faith in this situation so this is like a lot of different situations i'm picking up on somebody who, for the person who's uh, you know, in a morning energy about their partner having a baby on them. Your family could be telling you to just have faith. You know, you're going to get married to this person or this is who you're supposed to marry. It'll fix itself. Or they could even be telling you to marry this person to, you know, have one up on this new baby. Or somebody could just be saying, let somebody's family member could also be saying, let this connection ride. Okay. And get with somebody that's you can marry that don't have kids outside of the connection. They could be discussing the embarrassment of having to explain that. Um, somebody's family is telling somebody like, look, you're going to get somebody that's going to show you eternal love. You don't have to put up with this. Or somebody could just, family could just be supporting them 100% um, on this, letting it be for a situation for somebody, okay? Somebody's family is also, you know, trying to bring somebody together on a new love situation so somebody's grandma could just know somebody that know somebody that they think would be good for you and trying to play blind date games okay but somebody's family is just really supportive to you at the moment or take how it resonates apply how it needs to be applied um but yeah somebody's definitely going through it okay for sure for sure so overall well, we ain't going to say overall. Give me more messages regarding this situation. love begins yes somebody's family really want to see you with somebody else somebody don't want somebody um in this toxic connection that i just described or channeled okay somebody really is pushing for some they're willing to support you financially somebody's family is like look move in with me stay with me or I'll help you pay your rent. Or if you get this new place, get off that lease with this person. I'm going to support you. Somebody's family is willing to support them 100% as long as 
um, in exchange, they see you release this person or let go. Somebody really is tired of just seeing a daughter or their son not being the person they birthed into this world or just that normal, smile and happy, glowing person that lights up the room when they walk in. They want you guys with somebody new. They feel like this is not how love should be. And some of you guys as family members, if this is your situation, as far as you finding out somebody's having a baby on you, or even if you're carrying the baby, um, they just hope you don't be a fool in the situation because it makes them look bad. We got shadow. Yeah, somebody is um, operating from their shadow side right now. Or this situation could be making you go into shadow energy, like making you be really um, tuned out to the world or just in your zone. Like somebody's mind is completely blown about a betrayal. Okay, fertility, yeah. Somebody slept with somebody that was really fertile. Somebody could be three months pregnant. Or, yeah, that somebody's known this secret for three months. Also, this fertility card is also representing this situation happening to birth a new phase into your life. Because that's why the new phoenix, I mean, the phoenix card is here. Somebody's um, needed to go through this. They need to experience this type of um, betrayal to get stronger. Um to come out fighting in success okay so that's what i picked up for you guys okay once again my readings are general so only take what resonates um don't stress yourself out thinking the situation is yours when it's not okay only take what you know is happening um, i hope this reading helps somebody get understanding on something that's going on positive vibes only if it resonated hit that comments button okay and i'm going to pull um, a card for the overall energy of this reading so what's the overall energy spirit what advice do you have for my viewers that just um listen to this reading regarding the situation we got adjustments are required so yeah some of the for some of you guys like i just said this had to happen to adjust uh, certain people out your life or adjust certain things in your life and kind of put the motion um get the motion going in the situation and then we got the energy that is going in is gaining momentum so the energy is getting heavy okay somebody's going to be experiencing heavy downloads um somebody's ascension process is starting due to this betrayal um but you're going to come out okay you're not going it ain't going to take over you you might be at a sad place or somebody's this could have already happened to somebody okay this could already have played out in somebody's life and you're past this energy okay but the reason you're rehearing this is because spirit wants to remind you of how far you've come so when this past person tries to come back around swindling you okay you are reminded as to how that made you feel and what you don't ever want to feel again okay we got your hard work is paying off viewers so be proud of yourself if this is your situation um sending healing energy your way and you is gonna be okay all right god got you and they got something better for you let it be okay let it the hell be and that is my reading love and light hit this like video i mean hit the like button if you didn't like my video already um show me some love and i'll be back with more